Hello and welcome to the week six extras. Can you imagine? Week six already. Feels like yesterday we were just getting things started. Time certainly flies when you're having fun or on two hours of sleep a night or both if you're like me. Last week was a huge week for offenses. The highest scores in the world happened last week with minutes in between each of these matches. Seven of the top nine highest scores happen at the East Bay Regional and Peachtree District Championship, and the top six scores were split between North Gwinnett and Walton down in Peachtree, and 254 and Citrus Circuits down at East Bay. Walton and Gwinnett broke the record in Peachtree Finals 1, which was then broken at East Bay Playoff Match 1 by the Cheesy Boofs and Citrus Circuits, and then they broke their own record in Playoff Match 11. Not only is this the highest score, highest clean score it's also the most combined points in a match it's only a matter of time before an alliance breaks 200 points and that's gonna happen at the newton division it was also a big weekend for the lower seeds especially the six seeds we had the five versus six in indiana there was a two versus six at pnw no eight seeds have won an event this season but there's still worlds. It has happened in the past. We were very close to having it happen at the PNW District Championship with the run the 8th seed went on down there. Just two points away from a win in the lower bracket to advance to the finals. And uh, if it makes up for anything... 132 points is now the highest losing score, so... Speaking of PNW, they know how to have some fun, no bias whatsoever. There was a ref uh, dressed up as a zebra uh, and then joined the mascot parade. They had different props for the head ref to use as flags and not just a red and blue flag. And I did check the manual, and there's no rule says that it has to be flags to wave. It just makes sense that it has to be clearly red and clearly blue. So, if you watched the PNW stream, you could have seen red and blue pom-poms. Red and blue, uh, what looks like butterfly nets. Red and blue foam fingers. Red and blue notes. And the best thing, why even have flags? It needs to be this forever. Red and blue Darth Maul lightsaber. Like, come on. That, that is amazing. This is amazing. The Ontario Provincial Championship had a surprise appearance from MatPat. Okay, a framed photo of MatPat. See, Team 7603 Vespa had a framed photo of Matt Pat that they brought to their Centennial College event uh, and then made it all the way to the finals. So that photo just became their good luck charm. They took it to the Provincial Championship and they got it on the Jumbotron. This is what I love about FRC. This is how some of the best team tradition starts. It's how you get your rallying cry being the name of a sushi restaurant. Since last week was such an offensive volley, it made it really tough to pick just one offensive bot. Uh, but the unexpected downside, it is also makes it hard to pick defensive bot because Ain't nobody playing defense. And defense wins championships, but it also lets you have a really fun robot like Team 4021 Ignition, Ignition with their Um Actually bot that they got going for their last qualification match at the Seven Rivers Regional. And you have 4669 Galileo Robotics that has a age-old philosophical question affixed to their wall bot. Tank drive is better than swerve drive. Change my mind. 
I have said that swerve is love, swerve is life, but West Coast, best coast. All right, now, big three for week six, offensive bot of the week. This is a tough one. We had so many high-powered robots taking the field. Some of them taking the same exact field, like in the case of the cheesy poof, citrus circuits, and bread. OP Robotics was my pick for offensive bot for week five, but they did not miss a step in their provincial championship. I have not talked about North Gwinnett Robotics as much as I should, because they are a robot to look out for, and I'm definitely gonna get to teams that you should look out for in next week's video looking forward to worlds and the hawaiian kids have been on my radar since week one i was this close to giving the hawaiian kids offensive bot of the week for week one and they have been showing up and showing out at all four of their regionals that being said I gotta give Offensive Bot of the Week for week six to 118, the Robonauts. They put up 42 points a match at their district championship. And all of the scoring in their playoff matches basically went through them. They were loading up that amp, loading up that speaker. This turret, this turret! is beautiful they waste no time to shoot any position is in position when your turret does this defensive bot of the week gonna be a bit different i normally look out for the wall bots because wall bots are fun it has been a very fun part of this competition but I am going to give it to a team that was playing very stout box defense for their wins, and that is team 4285, the Camo Bots. It's hard to quantify because they're not blocking shots, but they are making the other Reliance use up a lot of time trying to get past them. They really hit them with the you shall not pass, and it was a huge factor in their wins now for my top moment of week six bit unconventional i'm uh gonna give it to the indiana state championship and somebody i do not know who uh was just playing minecraft on the jumbotron because <laughs> why not the, that's what you want when you go to a robotics competition and there's no robot, you want to see Minecraft. You want to see Minecraft. The children yearn for the mines. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next upload. And my next upload being my predictions for teams to win Houston. That's all we got left. Can you believe it? Next stop, the World Championship. I will see you then, not actually, I'll be behind a computer, I can't fly to Texas. As always, gracious in victory, professional in defeat, amen. Here's the thing, when you get in their garage, they're the best in town. Can they win here in the Peachtree District? Let me introduce you to team 4451. Robots Garage with their bot, Embers.